These amazing fantasy creatures are all drawn by Afton Kern, and I found her here at Spectrum 2015. And she's actually right here, and she's got a picture in front of her that she's been working on. Um, what is it you've been working on, Afton? Um, just sketches of uh, Gigantopithecus, of what I think it may have looked like, just like the faces. and. Um, Currently, I'm working as a scientific illustrator for Kasumas River College's anthropology department. Wow. And these are some of the pictures I'm working on. So you do mostly real animals or fantasy creatures too, or, or both? Um, just a little bit of both, but mostly the real animals. Mostly real animals. Like I'm working on the skull of, this is a work in progress of a Shivapithecus a relative of today's orangutans, and the skull is drawn up to approximately life size. Wow. So do you, what tips do you have for people that want to get better at drawing fantasy creatures? I would say go outside, just observe nature, go to a park, go to a nature reserve, just draw real animals, just draw the plants, everything. Just observe nature as it is. Take biology classes, take anthropology, study anatomy, study real life. Right, so drawing the real animals, real life, that helps you a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, because this, this creature does not exist, right? This, this... No, that's... that's uh... What would you call this thing? Um, actually, it's just kind of what I think uh, a feathered dinosaur. It's not a, a real dinosaur, it's just kind of an imaginary dinosaur, but I did base the, the chick here on a cassowary, and I do think that um, modern birds are living dinosaurs. Oh, right. So all your knowledge of real anatomy really helps a lot in like, making up your imaginary creatures. Yes. <laughs> very, very cool. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>